What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. You can see that I have trucks all around me. What are we doing? More truck stuff. And this is gonna be a helpful video that we're gonna to put together here with a friend of mine, I'm gonna spin the camera. He works here. He's gonna educate us on everything that we need to know. And we're just gonna to stick to trim levels and what you gain as you escalate. So features and benefits, all of that. I think this is gonna be an educational video. It's gonna be a fun video. All right, so with that all said, let's just jump to it. All right, guys, we are here with Sean Allen. If you want to introduce yourself real quick. Uh, hi, my name is Sean Allen. Uh, I'm here at uh, Jenkins & Wynn, uh, Ford, Lincoln, and uh, Honda. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the Ford F-150, uh, kind of talk about some of the uh, options and, and trim levels that, you can, uh, that you're offered when you're buying a, a F-150. Some of these actually come with lots of options outside of the package groups. Uh, so with this, you know, you, you have a lot of choices. Yeah, I think this is an important video because a lot of people come truck shopping and people like me that drives like Mustangs all their life are not going to know what in the world to look for, you know, and, and, and trim level. Where do you start? So that's what we have here. STX. STX. There you go. Uh, See, I don't even know. It's actually an XL. Okay. It's in the XL trim. So this is, you know, the, the beginning of the trim line on the F-150, but it's the top portion of XL. So it is an STX. Okay. It's also naturally aspirated. So this has got a five liter V8 in it. Okay. Um, matter of fact, this is still gonna be nicely equipped. There is a touch screen. It won't have navigation, um, but it's still gonna have a lot of features most people are looking for when it comes to connectivity. Um, and kind of ease of access. Okay. So with this one, I'm going to open a couple doors. Yeah, absolutely. Based off the weather, though, the weather has been right. the best. So. Okay. So we have a nice interior. Oh, uh, you still have your center console. I see that. That's nice. And touchscreen. Yeah, you have your touchscreen. So no nav, but does it have like Android Auto, Apple CarPlay? Yes. Awesome. So that's so in theory, you still do have navigation. You know what I mean? You just plug in your phone. So that's it's good. Based off your phone and the applications you use, whether it be an Android device or Apple. You start with the cloth interior here, which I I think is completely fine in a truck. Um, and then everything is is more basic compared to some of the others, but. I think uh, compared to the way they used to be, this is pretty advanced stuff here. I like the fact that you do have this center console. I'm a big fan. And then uh, let's see here. And so then you have your USB outlets there. Uh, this one's a four wheel drive, so that looks good. Some of the other features too that come with the SDX. Uh, you have an option for four by two or four wheel drive. Okay. This one is four wheel drive. Uh, so your ride height's a little higher with the four wheel drive. Um, you still have the ability, you know, to add accessories even in this trim level. Yeah. Um, some of the accessories won't come standard based off that trim level. This one's still, you know, fog lights. You still have your cruise control. You still have Bluetooth ability. This one won't have a power inverter. Okay. You know, XLT trim will, will have power inverters. So I see. That's, okay. That's 110. Uh, this will have 12 volt. So you have a 12 volt up front in your center stack. There's a 12 volt that's actually you know inside the console okay and then one in the back seat yeah there's your connectivity in the back here so it looks charging ability yeah so you got usb outlets which is nice and then you have the old school type there and oh i see even on the base trim here we still have rear ventilation yes so that's that's something that used to separate ford from like chevrolet with the silverado is they didn't have that right. even on their top trim they didn't have that so and this still actually closes so you actually have, you know, uh, basically a, a, a place to keep something out of sight. So a little bit more of a secure area. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. You can still also, you know, lock. Okay, console, it's lockable. Nice. And also your glove box. Good, good. Yeah. Now you are, are still in an STX equipped with uh, power locks, power windows, you know, so it's not like a base base model no this is nothing base about this this looks fine um you still have tons of legroom back here so easy lift there and then you have what i like about ford is you have this nice very very flat yep. area here and the doors open up really wide and so with this one we're not going to get yeah the step that's built in but that'll come in some of the later trims which we're about to move on to next up is going to be what xlt XLT, uh, but there, there's there's some more options that you can actually still get okay. with STX. 
because it, it, it is an optional thing that comes with a, a truck. If you want a tailgate step, you can Oh, so you can still get it on the SX. Yes, still Good. Good. Awesome. Yeah, it's Excellent. A, it's an additional option. Got it. Okay. Just like the box link. So this one is equipped to put it in. It just doesn't come standard with it. Okay. Same thing with uh, XLT. So Got that it. also gives you an option. All right, that's good. Because see, see, guys, I don't know everything, and that's why I'm, that's why I'm getting educated. Oh, right here too. <laughs> so it has the space to put in the box light. Got it. It's just it's, it's not just a not standard there. thing. Okay. Forty six. That's before discounts, incentives, before rebates. Incentives, so stickered at forty six, but you're five liter um four wheel drive and then of course your additional options that are listed here this is in that equipment group 101a which is that's going to be your power equipment group okay so it gives you power windows power locks and cruise control i like it i think it looks really good actually i mean it comes with some nice wheels i like the grill i like the front 20 bumper inch 20 inch wheels and you know this is uh this is nice because it's color matched so I think that that looks really, really good. All right. And that's part of that trim. The, yep. The STX is the sport appearance package. I got it. Okay. Sport appearance is that painted to match. It does give it a nice look. Leather liner. So how convenient we have that truck and then we have the XLT sitting right beside it. Yeah. So it makes it nice, easy to get to. But okay. So this has that cat skin leather you were talking about the other yes. day. Let me see if I get a good shot of this. So this is a, a added option. There's tons of options you can always add with these trucks, but it's also got an EcoBoost. So the 3.5 EcoBoost. You have a 2.7 liter or a 3.5 liter. Okay. Now both of them are V6s. Wow, someone tore that sticker up. I know the. Uh, three, this one has a 3.5. It. So it's got 375 horsepower and uh, I think 470 torque. About 470 pound feet of torque. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that that actually gives it what the, the best in class towing mm -hmm. with the, with that engine, that uh, or so I've read. Yeah. So that's awesome. Another thing about the, the way this one's set up, this is actually part of uh, what we had our leather and liner additions. Okay. So it is an XLT, but we had leather seating put in. They are cat skin. Um, between the seating and already a Linex spray-in bed liner. Okay. So between the two options, you know, we're talking about a $2,100 increase in cost. Yeah, that's not that bad. Uh, but if you went from XLT to Lariat, with that, you're you're actually looking at roughly four to five grand different in price. But there's a few other features that come once you go up that next trim. Okay. And this one's actually set up in what's called the 302A package group. Okay. So that's gonna give you a few different things. You've actually got a shifter in, in your center console. Yep. Uh, as opposed to being on the column. It's still gonna be equipped pretty much the same exact way as what you saw the, the STX. So we got hill descent control, automatic start stop. This one will probably have navigation, I would bet. Actual this, built in now. This will have an option for navigation. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, you said that this was different on the XLT? So now you also have a power inverter that's installed. It's okay. actually behind the passenger side rear seat. There's a tether on the back of the seat that folds down. Okay. That's where your jack is located. All right. All right. Um, so ease of access. But you also have one here and one behind. In the back there. The okay. Console, yes. So here's a shot of the inside there. And then so you see that you have power and this is how this is actually really really big so there's my sunglasses it's massive pretty much how this looks here and also heated seats on this trim level the 302a package group so okay so heated we seats. gain heated seats you got trailer brakes here there's your full drive select there um everything i like that the, the button layout is very simple it's very easy to get to uh you don't have to fight through like a hundred thousand things to look at to get to like your heated seats for example it's right there very simple and then you have your lights this one has adjustable pedals too which is nice this is a 2018 so come in 2019 no more cd player yeah that's gone that's a dying thing it has been for a while everybody just downloads stuff on their phones so here you go this is now this is different too i noticed this has kind of like a carbon fiberish trim uh, and I don't think the other one did either. I don't think it had that, but no, it, was, it was just probably just, it was just black. black. Yeah, this looks really good. It's, it's sporty. This is how the back looks there. It's all pretty much the same, except that you do have the addition of that extra power outlet there in the back. So, and then you, so, of course, you have this. Also, 
Oh, inverter. I see. There's your power inverter. Power inverter, and then a nice thing too. This this isn't a huge add-on, but in the 302A package group, this is pretty much a standard. So it's like a little extra cubby storage so it area. Gives you a, a place to stow stuff. Nice. To release the back seats. Just gonna pull, pull like that. Lever, but I do want to see and show. You know, this is where the jack's at. Okay. This is also, your filler spout because you know, of course, if you're trying to fill up from a gas can. You, you need to use that. So this one has a Linex spray inliner and uh, something I definitely recommend. Looks really good. And this one actually has a box lighting. Okay. And this is an option, you know, so even an XLT, you, you can either opt for it or not. Um, to activate it, there's a button on this side. So you can activate this. Okay, you don't have to be inside of the cabin. To, that, that's awesome. And so it turns on both lights. These are LEDs and also activates your cab cab light. Yep. So that way you you have lighting in there. Um, and just push it to shut it off. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah, that's the great thing about trucks is sky's the limit, especially when, you know, configuring your bed. They make all kinds of stuff. You can put tents back here and everything. It's nuts. Oh, yeah. This is a five and a half uh, foot bed. And then you can get the bigger ones Right. If, if the, you uh, so choose. In a crew cab, it's it's six and a half. Okay. Um, but I mean, it's it's a little long. Some people like it. You know, it's a you don't really have too many in betweens. It's a love it or hate it. You know, when it comes to that longer box. I think yeah, this is a common option here. Is the five and a half. Mm -hmm. It's just it's a little bit easier to drive and maneuver. I think. I love these eighteen refreshes. How they've embossed everything yep. here. Twenty inch wheels. Yeah, these wheels look really good. This is the FX4 package, so that gives you the more off-road worthy suspension. And, well, and it's more on the, the skid plates up underneath. Skid so plates. you have skid plates protecting um, you know, some of your components underneath, your oil pan, your fuel tank, okay. uh, and a couple of your uh, you know, parts of the drivetrain. Okay. So it is a benefit. You know, it is you know, part of that off-road package. FX4 used to actually be a trim. Yeah, I remember so back in the day. Yep. Now it's a package. 54, so the additional cost is 2100 Right, so there you um, go. That's about trucks are expensive these days, and most of it's that technology. Technology, as you go up in in the tech package, this has also got a three point five liter twin turbo. Yeah. So I mean, it's 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 a performer. This truck is also equipped with a ten speed transmission. That's true. Ten speed in these these two thousand eighteen F one fifties. It's actually uh, started in seventeen with the ten speed front end. When it comes to the bumper, they they changed the body line slightly um, from your fifteen through seventeen. Now this being an 18, now there's a curve. So you have a little bit of a body curve there to your, to your bumper and your front, your front end. That's an air induction right there where air passes through and then it exits back here a little bit. And that helps streamline the vehicle through the air at highway speeds especially. It just and makes it a little bit better. This is the most important thing. So right here, that's got the active shutter Active system. shutters, okay, I see, yep. So that's going to allow a lot more airflow um, feeding those turbos. Right there. Perfect. And we're right next to Super Duty. Oh man, that's a whole separate video here. Yeah, right. It's a big truck. What's cool about this one, this one's actually got a uh, 3 liter turbo diesel. Um, okay. So it's not a brand new engine, but it's new to the U.S. marketplace when it comes to Ford. Another thing about this being a Lariat, this has actually got the upgraded light package. So LED lights. Mm -hmm. um, this has also got an engine block heater. So this would help you out for your northern guys. Definitely. Plug it in overnight in your garage. You have a front view camera. Okay. That's convenient too because you are driving a big vehicle. So for me... You know, pulling forward and something like this is, you know, I'm used to small cars. So when I get behind the wheel of a truck, you know, that would definitely help me out. And it's tied in with, you know, that uh, 360 degree cameras. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, I've seen those. Yeah. You know, Gives you the bird's eye view kind of deal. Yeah, it almost looks like a drone is over your vehicle. Yeah, it's really right cool. Up. You can see the lines to the left and right of you. So you can really center your vehicle in a parking spot. Nice. So this one also has cameras that are actually located in the mirrors. So that's a camera as well. Okay. You know, again, it's a three liter power stroke uh, in the Lariat trim. Uh, a couple other things is, you know, even in the dash, you've got leather. You can see how there's some stitching all the way across. 
This has got another uh, technology group too. It's your Ford Collision Alert, correct? Right there. Yeah. So, which is also tied into that pedestrian detection. Got it. Cross okay. traffic alert and adaptive cruise control. So if you look, there's a camera. I see it right there. Okay. So that's also going to be tied in with, uh, you know, lane keeping. Okay. So, and it's also equipped with electronic power assisted steering. Got it. E pass. A couple other things that, that are about, you know, the Lariat, chrome clad, you got 20 inch wheels. Um, you know, again, with your technology group, this is also equipped with a onboard modem. So you can connect up to 10 vehicles. Internet. Internet. Got it. Okay. Out to about 50 feet from the vehicle. That's a distance though. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. You also have part of your driver assist package. Okay, they're all around. And this is, of course, the Power Stroke Turbo Diesel there. And, and with that, it's tied in with your, you know, uh, park assist. And then powered, powered deployable running boards. So if you want a work truck, this is not for you, but. <laughs> Probably not. I, w I would buy this. I'd just deal with it. But I like that. I like technology and stuff. And with that, I mean, it's, it's not a real expensive option. And it's an optional equipment. So you can, you know, on, on other trim vehicles, you can opt to have it or not. Okay. Um, and I've, I've even seen, you know, from King Ranch to Platinum with rigid running board. Yeah, about 900 bucks. I mean, for me, that's fine. I'd pay it. It's, it's, not, it's not an expensive item. Um, the benefit, though, it also it is actually uh, comes out away from the vehicle, and it is lower. So yeah. the ease of getting into your vehicle is much easier. And when you start adding those options, there's also discounts that do come from the factory. So based off the vehicle, there, there's usually an, an, another discount based off how you've equipped it. These guys right here too, so you get the vehicle. Oh, look at that, it just pops out like magic. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is gonna have more of a digital display. Um, and then, oh, it's- That also, it's, it's an eight inch digital uh, gauge cluster so nothing like the 12 inch that's in the mustang you drive right right but you know it, it still gives you a lot of other features so we don't have the keys so we can't turn it on but this one does have your push button start which is nice to have in a truck so this was always a big selling point when i was selling chevrolet for a little while when people cross shop the silverado with the f-150 this was one of the things i talked about is this ginormous sunroof here <laughs> you know you just couldn't get it and with the Chevy yeah. and the F-150 would always win B&O audio system same as that I have in the Mustang yep. and a Bang leather and Olsen Bang and Olsen yep, yep. and uh, a leather stitched dash that looks very very good feels good very very nice and this one is a 2018 <laughs> we still have a CD yep and you have like a wood grain here finish to some of the they even dash. carried it over like I was talking about. Oh, that looks good. Really? I didn't even notice that. That looks yeah. really good. It's on the doors too over there. That looks really sharp. Here's the leather there. It's perforated. So you got probably hot and cold seats and you, you do. You heated and cooled seats. Um, and you also have heated rear seats. Heated rear seats. Very, very nice. the outboard portion. Okay. Not the center. Not the center. Got the it. outboard por portion is heated in the back. And the same you know connection points uh are, are back here two usbs a 12 volt and also a 110. <laughs> so i noticed the steering wheel change a little bit here too guys mm -hmm. so this one has more of a silver finish here and i think that it looks a lot more sporty it's on the dash as well uh, i think it looks very very much home on this truck i like it a lot this is also a heated steering wheel heated steering wheel so i've got that in the mustang and i use it a lot it's definitely worth it uh you have these nice 10 and 2 notches there on the steering wheel looks really really good and then we do have, of course, adjustable pedals, all of that. All right, so yeah, there's your power inverter, all that stuff that we've seen before. And then there is a shot of the back. This is actually the, the knuckles that lock into the box link in the bed. Oh, okay, that's what it looks and like. They're, and they're lockable. It actually has keys, so they lock in place. Okay. Yep, they just come in a package. So this one has the plates. So you can see the, the mounting plates here. I see, yep. It's not really a handle, there's a button. I see. And then it's that, that soft open. I like it. Which is also tied in with your key fob. Very nice. <laughs> this also is equipped with 
blind, blind spot monitoring. So your blind spot information system, which can also be tied into your trailer. Okay. You just have to prog program in the dimensions of your trailer, which is also tied into your trailer backup assist. It's very good because there's all the different shapes, sizes, lengths of trailers. Yep. And to have something that you can actually program is, is excellent. Keeps everybody safe on the road, everybody happy, and you don't cut nobody off or run anybody over. So this is a four-wheel drive truck. It is lifts a little bit higher, so it's got the, the step boards, everything. It's a very nice looking truck. Um, I guess what what is next? A platinum? Uh, we'll or, check out a platinum and a king ranch. We got one sweet. side by side. Yeah, this is very good. This this is a platinum here, and uh, I apologize for the lengthy video, but like we're talking about, when it comes to accessories and all of the, the stuff that goes into you know ordering a truck and then how they build them, sky is a limit. So there's tons of options. I like that this one has not a chrome front bumper here or a uh, grill. I'm sorry, but it's it's more of like a satin. Satin, satin brushed aluminum brushed nickel. yeah I, I like that actually better I, I hate chrome me personally but this for me would sell it the truck stands out for sure yeah it really does it's gonna have the same features we talked about with lariat this one's actually got the all-weather mats already installed in it sure does all the way back so that's a big mat it's just one big piece of rubber which is great for cleaning these back seat belts actually air inflated so all for kids okay are, i see that they are an airbag seat belt that's awesome that's a great safety feature there uh and then you have your center pull down there for cups and stuff like that well this looks really good i like that this is a very very soft leather um there's all different kinds of leathers in the world but this is uh it's very nice this is one of my favorites even even the color scheme i, I like how they did this one. so everything else is pretty much about the same as the last pretty close uh this one's equipped with trailer brake and your trailer backup assist okay uh i'm also going to have the bno bno system uh if you notice the, the the dials start getting a little bit different as you go up in your trims this one is a little bit i think more sporty mm -hmm. to me at least so we hop in here and i don't see any chrome anywhere really it's, it's more of a brush to finish mm -hmm. um and i think it looks really good with the stitching and all of that Looks one really more feature that this thing has yeah this is where you start getting the massaging seats oh this has got massaging seats. so you'd have you could turn your your heated seats on and then mm -hmm. massage and then you fall asleep and crash i'm just kidding but you have your, your well, then you have your lane yeah and, and your uh, electronic uh, power <laughs> so you have those safety to, features to, to keep, keep you safe the, uh, that's awesome well, it won't drive itself you know, that that's not yet, maybe, but the, maybe that that will be coming for the Ford F Series. Uh, yeah, you know you you have the Teslas and all that now. Well, um, but your massaging seats can also be activated from your touchscreen, so you have an additional tab when you're in that Lariat trim and above, and it's called Climate. Okay. So I think your Mustang is also equipped with Climate. Correct. Because it's a premium package. Yes. So that premium package is going to give you a few more accessories. You know a few more options within you know uh the features and and technology that's uh in, in equipped in these trucks today again this is a 19 2019 oh wow yes yeah, so uh, the, the, it's gone it's gone guys bye sorry bye. no bye -bye more CD. cd player everything's about the same there so we're going to check out a king ranch next and see what that thing is all about and this is the price on this guy here so 66 so it's just a little bit above the last one we looked at well, since we're at this one, I might as well hit up another option we didn't uh, cover. Okay. Which is going to be the tailgate stem. Yeah, we haven't seen that yet. Yeah, this is the applique here. This is this piece that's put on the back there, and it looks it looks very very sporty. I really like that because it matches the front grill there. And then this is how this step is going to work. So he's pushing the button. This has the built-in. So it's actually a button inside right there. There's, there's nothing to flip. Uh, the previous, you know, uh, models, 15 through 17 are basically all the same. Okay. So 18 and 19 are going to be just the exact same thing. So you're not flipping anything anymore like you did when they first came out with this. Yeah, I know the Chevy has like the little step there on the side there that's built into the bumper. Like a, you got like an arm that comes up. Um, and then this one, side. this one is really cool because this actually sits about the same level of height. Actually, it's lower than like the uh the bumper there so to get in and out of the back of this truck with a ford is probably going to be a bit easier 
It's definitely not difficult. Yeah, and then you have your, your handle here um, so you can hold stuff heavy in one hand and then climb in and out easy. So I, th I like this. This is very simple. Uh, it's very, very convenient. So next up we have the King Ranch right in front of us here and things are going to change up a little bit. You see the grill is a little bit different there. It's chrome versus that satin uh, brushed aluminum look. And uh, I like that better, but this is a whole different trim level. Very similar features. The big difference is one is going to be your badging, a little bit of the aesthetics, that, you know, whether it be the chrome or, or that satin, um, and your, your leather seating. Oh, I like this. This looks really good, too. This is you very... definitely feel the difference. Yeah, this is soft. Yep. It's this definitely is, a different feel than the last one mm -hmm. that we were just in. This is this is a bit different. So we have an open twin panel. Yep, so you guys can see exactly what that looks like. It is ginormous, just massive. It is very, very nice. Even all the way down to the details here. This is brown instead of being black like before. The stitching all looks good, all leather. Um, this is what the door looks like here. So instead of being black, it's brown. Everything is brown. It's definitely very, very premium. So everything else in this this truck is pretty much the same then. Mm -hmm. This is this is so, <laughs> this will have to be like a whole separate thing. But this is a 6.7 liter Power Stroke, limited F250. Dear Lord, that is awesome looking. So you got the uh, steps that come out. This is limited. This is the top trim here, and then they are. Is that numbered? Serial numbered? Yes. Wow. It's badged. It's numbered. Uh, same thing with the F-150 Limited. And, and we haven't even touched it. So this kind of works out. Um, so this is basically what you would get in the F-150. But, so, yeah. The big change, though, from the 18 model Limited F-150, uh, it had a blue leather seating. Okay. For the 19, it, it's the same seating. Yeah, so it's is... gonna it's gonna mimic this. Uh, this one is a a 2018. Yeah, it still has a so CD player. A CD saw that. Player. Um, this is also equipped with that massaging seats, you know, power telescoping, uh, uh, tilt uh, steering column, power pedals. I mean, this this thing is is definitely equipped. Um, Man, one of the things that they used to do this used to have four cup holders. Okay. Well, they didn't actually get away with it. <laughs> wow look at that so it's pretty minute but i mean it's still actually got four cup holders right here so in the f-150 you're still going to get your your uh, shifter there in center console correct mm -hmm. so yeah the 250 it's going to be up there but like he's talking about is wow you have a lot more um stuff you can do with the vehicle actually have oh i didn't see magic yeah. tricks look at that you can hide things yeah. awesome this is pretty much what a limited looks like guys so in the big f-250 so f-150 will be very very similar but has all this nice fancy luxurious stuff well guys that is gonna do it i think that is gonna do it uh huge thanks to uh mr sean allen here jenkins and win ford here in clarksville tennessee i appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day and you know it hasn't been a quick thing. We've been there's so much footage. I don't know how I'm gonna edit all this down, but uh, a lot of things we talked about when it comes the, to the truck. Yeah, there's quite a bit. So I got educated a little bit, and hopefully you guys find value in this video. I hope that you do. Oh, and then if you are interested in any trucks and you're in this area, uh, definitely go check out uh, the guys here. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks.